We found out on Tuesday that Chris Palmer was going to be the Titans next offensive coordinator. Today he was introduced to the Nashville media. Palmer comes to the Titans with 20 years of NFL coaching experience. He first Thanks, met Mike. head coach Mike uh, Munchak when he was with the Houston Oilers. Like he was their wide receivers the coach back in 1990. His resume has grown since then. He's been a head coach with the Browns, an offensive coordinator with the Titans, and even a quarterback coach with the Giants. All of those experiences stood out when he met with Munchak. Like I mentioned, until you're behind the scenes and you really see the knowledge people have, you assume you know things, but until you actually sit down here, pick a guy's brain and hear what he says about all the positions, you, know, you find out real quickly how much, how much of a football guy he is and how special he can be for this team in a lot of ways. He'll do a great job coaching the coaches, too. I've never sh shied away from a challenge, and uh, I don't, I'm not saying that this is a challenge. I'm just saying that it's, I still have the competitive juices, and I want to make this right. So with the new head coach and offensive coordinator in place, are we going to see a lot of changes to the Titans playbook? Well, it doesn't sound like any drastic ones are going to be made to the offense. Palmer's philosophy is about improving the players that are already here. Give the players the best chance to do things. I don't think giving uh, CJ the ball, you can say that's conservative, but I think that can be explosive also. Um, we're going to be what we have, okay? We're going to identify what we are. We'd like to run the football. We'd like to play action, and we'd like to stretch the field. There you have it. Just a few hours after Palmer was introduced, the team announced another addition to their coaching staff. Jim Skipper has been named the team's running back coach. Skipper spent the last nine seasons with the Carolina Panthers in the same role. Well, how about some news back on the field now? The Colts have cut ex-Pro Bowl safety Bob Sanders, the 2007 Defensive Player of the Year, has had a hard time staying healthy over the last three seasons. Sanders has played in only nine regular season games since he signed a five-year, $37 million contract. The Vandy baseball team started their season this afternoon with a 4-3 win over the University of San Diego. Meanwhile, the men's basketball team is on a roll. The Doors have won four straight and traveled to Auburn for a matchup against the Tigers on Saturday. They just played Georgia to overtime. They, they went to South Carolina and won convincingly. Um, uh, they, you know, they played Florida to a five-point game, and it could have been anybody's game. So they're, they're a, a more than capable team. They're much better than they were at the beginning of the season. Uh, their team has grown and grown and, and gotten better. It was a big night on the campus of Belmont University last night. The Bruins defeated East Tennessee State 68 to 58. And with the win, Belmont clinched a share of the Atlantic Sun regular season championship. They will also be the number one seed for the upcoming A-Sun tournament. Belmont is now 16 and one in conference play, 24 and four overall. What a season they are having. Well, it is a night off for the Nashville Predators, and after last night's 3-1 win over Vancouver, you could say they needed some time to recover. The Preds took some lumps in last night's game. Nick Spalling's goal, go-ahead goal in the second period was one of the few bright spots. Marcel Gotch left the game with an upper body injury. Steve Sullivan was hit in the face by a puck, and so was the newest member of the Preds, Mike Fisher. His first goal with Nashville came just a few moments after he left the locker room with stitches in his right cheek. Fisher and the Preds will host Phoenix on Saturday night. And it sounds like Steve Sullivan is okay. I read a Twitter right. by him saying he's home with a big bag of ice still on his Aww. face, but he should be fine. All okay. right. Thanks, Mike. That is our time, everybody. Have a great weekend. So long.